If you're looking for a way to create a sales funnel or actually any type of the funnel for free, you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to create a sales funnel in under 30 minutes absolutely for free. And by the end of this video, you will be able to launch this funnel even if you have no tech skills and have never done this before. I know you might be thinking there's a catch here, you don't get anything for free, right? Well, in this case, you in fact can use one of the best funnel builders for free. I'm talking about the platform called System.io and they offer a free plan. On the free plan, you get access to almost all the features System.io offers, but with some limitations. You can find a link to create your free System.io account in the description of this video, and if you use our link, you will also receive our exclusive funnel templates as a bonus. And with a click of the mouse, you will be able to import those funnel templates into your System.io account and just edit the copy and the images. This would save you time and effort. And one more thing before we get started, like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. Now let's get started and build a sales funnel in your free system.io account. As mentioned before, you can use one of our funnel templates and import it into your account. But in this video, I will show you how you would build a sales funnel from scratch. Once you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Let us know here where to send your funnel templates that you receive as a bonus from us for signing up for System.io using our link. After that, you will be redirected to the sign up page like this. Enter your email address here and hit get my free account. By the way, even on the free plan of System.io, you can build not just your funnels, but also your blog, your course, you can manage your email marketing and also the affiliate program for your products. So System.io is truly an all-in-one platform. Once you log into your System.io account, you will see a dashboard like this. And there are a few things that we need to do before we start working on our sales funnel. The first step would be to fill in your contact information or profile information. And you will also see a reminder here about that. For that, you would need to go to the settings and then fill in your contact information here. This is a requirement to process the payments on your funnel. And another step that you need to do here is to set up one of the payment gateways. The popular ones would be Stripe and PayPal, but you also can select from the other ones that you see here. The next preparational step would be to create a product that we are going to sell in our funnel. For that, you would need to go to Products, click Physical Products, click Create, give your product name, description, add different information that you see here, select currency and price. If you want, you can also upload an image for your product and select different options and click Save. That's all you need to do for now. And later in the video, I will show you how to connect this product to your funnel or to your order form specifically. And also what to do if you're selling a digital product. And last but not least, we also want to create a tag. For that, go to the contacts, click Tags, click Create. The tag will help you to sort contacts later on and also help us set up everything that we need in our funnel. Click Save. And with that, we can finally start building our funnel. We go to the funnels and click create. We're going to build a simple sales funnel. This type of funnel usually consists of a sales page, an order form and a thank you page. We will not overcomplicate it because this is the beginner's tutorial and I don't want to add an upsell and downsell to this funnel to not confuse you. And that's why we will just go with the simple funnel structure. Give your funnel a name, select the domain for your funnel. You can either use the default system.io domain or connect one custom domain. On the free plan, you are limited to one domain that you can connect. Then select the currency that you want to use on your funnel. Let's say US dollar and click save. To start editing the funnel, just click on the name of this funnel. And because we created a funnel to sell the product, we already have a few pages that we may need in this funnel. And this is an order form and a thank you page. I would like to add a sales page to those pages. For that, click Add Step. Give the step a name and select the type. We will need a sales page and click Save. Next, I want to move the step higher up. And this way we have the flow 
sales page, an order form, and the thank you page. Next, we need to select a template for the page. You can browse through the templates that you can see here on the right. If you want to preview the template, just click preview. And if you like the template, click select. If for some reason you don't like the page template, you can just click change page template and select another one. And we're going to start editing the page. For that, click this button, edit page. You can use the page editor in system.io even if you don't have any tech knowledge and it's quite simple and straightforward. You can just move the elements around and adjust them to your liking. Let's edit the first section of this page as an example. You may notice that our page has different built-in blocks. The biggest one would be the section with the green border. Then we have different rows and the row can include multiple columns as you can see here on the left. And then we have different elements with an orange border around them. For example, an image, a headline, a paragraph, a button. As said, let's edit this first section so you see how easy it is to use the editor in system.io. For example, I don't want to have a header on my funnel. That's why I just hover over this section and then click the bin icon to delete it. Then I would want to have more space between this top area and the text or the image that I have in this section. To change that, I would go to the settings of the section and increase the padding. Next, I don't need this image here. I also will delete it. And with that, we can now change the text and add our own image. To change the text, just hover over the element and select the text and start typing your text. If you want to change the formatting of the text, you can use these icons here. For example, I would like to make this text bold. If you want to adjust other settings, you go to the sidebar here. Let's say we want to decrease the size of the text make it 50 and also decrease the line height like this. I also would like to change the color of the text. For that, I select the text and then go to this icon and select the color that I want to use. If you want to change the font, you can also do it here. And you can see that there are a lot of other settings for this headline element, like background color, margins on different sides, also padding, alignment, and so on. You can adjust the text element same way as we did with the headline. And now let's replace the image. To do that, just click on the image element, then go to this field, image file, and click on the icon. We want to add an image to the page by uploading it from our device or selecting an image from our library. That would be here, your images. I want to upload an image, that's why I go to Upload, select File, then I select my file and upload it to system.io editor. Click Insert. The image is quite big, that's why I want to decrease the size of the image and I can do it in the settings here. Just drag this icon and it will decrease the size of the image. I think that will do it. And last but not least, you can adjust the look of the button and most importantly, we need to ensure that the button has the action that we need. Click on the button to open the settings, go to the action when button clicked, and the action that we need is to go to the next step. So this is our sales page, our leads can read about our awesome product and then when they click on the button, they will be redirected to the next step in our funnel which is an order form. And another thing that you can do in this section is to change the background color or to add an image as a background image. You can also do it in the settings of the section by going to the color section and selecting different color for the background. For example, something grayish like this. And if you would like to have an image in the background, you again would click this icon and upload an image from your device or select an image from your gallery. Before we move further, save the changes and then we can go to our next step in the funnel, which is an order form. Select the order form step. We again need to select the template for our page. If you open an editor for the order form page, you will see that the template already includes the elements that we may need on our order form. Like for example, the contact information 
and their payment method and payment information. You can customize this page same way that we customized the sales page. You can delete the elements that you don't need or add more elements on this page. We will not dive into all the details because otherwise this tutorial will get way too long. The important thing that you need to do on the order form is to connect the product so what we are going to sell on our order form and what the customer will be charged for and that's what I'm going to show you. Save the changes if you changed anything on this page and go back to the order form page settings. If you scroll a bit you will see that here we have an option to add a product. If you're selling a physical product you can just select physical product and select the product that we created in the beginning of this system.io tutorial. Click on this drop down and then select the product that you created and click save. Now let me show you what you need to do if you're selling a digital product. Let's say you're selling an ebook on your funnel. Select digital product. There are two things that we need to do. We need to add a resource in the form of tag and also add the price. Let's do that step by step. Click this plus icon, select the resource. We will select the tag, but you see you can also select course, course bundles or communities if you are selling them on your funnel page. Then we select the tag that we created in the beginning of this video. And this way we can tag all the contacts that make a purchase on our order form on this specific funnel. Click save. Next we go to the price plan section and here we need to create a price for our product. Click plus. Select a price plan type that would be one-time payment if we're selling an ebook. We don't have any existing pricing plans, that's why we click create a new one. You will need to fill in these few fields here. First, the name of the plan, which will be displayed on the order form, then the name that will be displayed on your dashboard, and last but not least, what will be displayed on the bank statement along with the charge for this specific product. Then we select the price type again, one-time payment, and last but not least, we enter the amount. After that, click Save. With that, we created a digital product for our order form and set the one-time price. We also will tag the contacts that make a purchase on our order form. If we preview the order form now, click View Funnel step, you will see that we have our order form from the template and the price for the ebook is $47 as we set it up. And last but not least, we have our thank you page. Click on the name of this page, select the template that you like. There are a few things that you can do on your thank you page. First of all, if you are selling a physical product, you may of course say thank you for the purchase, let your customer know when and how they can expect to receive this physical product, offer your customer to join your community, follow you on social media, or even promote some other products that they may like. That's for the physical product. If you're selling a digital product, like in our example we were selling an ebook, we want to give our customers the possibility to download this ebook. And you can easily do it by selecting a specific action for the button. So on our thank you page, we would move the button a bit higher up. You can still offer them to check out your social media or to join your community, but the main point, they need to get their hands on the book that they bought. We select the button settings in the action we need to select download file and we just need to upload our ebook here by clicking on this icon and selecting the file. Once the upload is done, I will select this file and click insert. Now let's save the changes and then preview the page. So once our customer purchased our ebook on the order form, they will be redirected to the thank you page. And once they click this button, the page will open for them and they will be able to download this ebook just by clicking this download icon. With that, we have our sales funnel ready. What's more important, you can build it for free thanks to the system.io free account. If you want to make your funnel more advanced and offer more products, you can add an upsell and a downsell page to your funnel. And you can do it by clicking on this icon, add step, giving a name to your step and then selecting an upsell page or a downsell page. 
Those pages are used to offer more products to your clients. Once you have your funnel ready, the last thing that you may want to add is email follow-ups. And to add them or to create them, you would need to go to emails and click campaigns. A campaign in System.io would be a sequence of emails that will be sent automatically to your contacts. And it's quite straightforward. You would just need to click create and then start creating your campaigns. But we will not go into the details in this video. Overall, your sales funnel is now ready to be launched. By the way, in the description of this video, you can find a link to our free funnel launch checklist. It mentions everything that you need to do or to check before you launch your funnel to make sure that the launch goes smoothly. This is how easy you can create a sales funnel for free in System.io. To me, it's still surprising that they offer all the necessary features on the free plan, but it's super beneficial if you're just starting and don't want to blow out your business expenses. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel by clicking that button below, and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. Thank you for watching and see you in the future videos. Bye-bye.